Hello everyone, I'm George, welcome to my lab. I have these inverters on my to-do list, so I thought today I'm gonna try and repair these. I'm gonna start with this one, so let's go ahead and disassemble it. So, I got my multimeter. Uh, this is the gate for the IGBT. This is the gate resistor. It's burnt. You can hardly see what was written on it. And then we have a diode here. That's a Y6. This is open. Another diode. This is okay. And then the, this 15 ohm. It's open. Transistor. Let's see if it's... That's a PNP. We have another one on the other side. And then some fast diodes. I have a short here. This is open. A lot of work to do. And we have uh, the gate resistor over here, it's burnt as well. That 10 ohm resistor. So we'll try to replace them one by one. So now, when we'll uh, compare the values, so gate 40, gate 40, reverse 45, reverse 45, that's better. This diode here, 3 ohms, should get, should, should get 3 as well here. Yes, and reverse, 120, 120, so that's good, 7, and 7, I've uh, prepared the board, so many damaged tracks, and lifted pads. I've prepared these because the tracks are so thin and also they were they were lifted so I'll put some more solder over there to, to so that can they can withstand the, 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 the big currents that are over here and as well on the other side okay 
we're kind of ready to test the board but I don't want to put it to the mains yet so we'll try to power the low voltage part and see if we get any oscillations in the in the chopper this is a 15 regulator and uh, this capacitor it's plus goes to the relay so this means this is the capacitor for the power supply so I will solder some wires and uh, apply some apply some current put 16 volt that will get regulated anyway by that linear regulator five microseconds okay so if I apply power I should be getting something yes it is something uh, can't trigger it correctly Man. Yes. So, we're getting something. It's a uh, 50% duty cycle, 62 kilohertz. Whoa, that's a lot. Vmax 20 volt. Just to drive the MOSFET, the IGBTs. So, seems we're getting somewhere. I think we're ready to solder the <coughs> transistors. test this I just putting putting it to, to some fuses I have a six amp fuse over there and the light bulb I'll put the light bulb like this so I can use the screw and the fuse the wires so this is the light bulb Okay, now wires here through the light bulb. Now plug this in. Take some safe distance. This is one and uh, Okay, we have the green light. Yay! <laughs> Let's see the green light here. Seems the effort is worth it. That's the most rewarding part when you see that green light. Let's put a uh, multimeter and we should be able to see the voltage. 200 volts I should be able to which one is the minus I think this one so let's try again it was the other one because it's showing with the minus so 53 volts I will assemble it back and uh, we'll do some welding Welcome back. We're making a test to see if we are welding. I 
I think the switch is kind of broken. Maybe that's why it got burned in the first place. So I have now 60 amp. Burning through the metal. It's fine. Let's check some uh, temperature. Transistors twenty six kind of twenty six degrees Celsius diode slightly warmer, of course. They are the loss of efficiency efficiency here and the chopper twenty eight degrees. should be fine. This inductor at the output no. I think the welder is working fine. Alright guys that's the end of my video I think we'll try with another welder from those three until then thank you very much for your time and all the best to you.